what is up YouTube this is he got kicks first and foremost I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas if this is edited in time and able to be dropped on Christmas if not I do hope you had a very Merry Christmas with your family it's time 2018 is coming to an end every sneaker youtuber does this and it is time for you all to see my top 10 Jordans of 2018 but first and foremost I have an unboxing here or unpackaging um, just got this in the mail today I wanted to do this on the channel because this is very special and somebody very special to me got some merch here lately and it uh, I you know I had to cop to support my brother so you are going to know who this is once I uh, unbox it or unpackage it, whatever you want to call it, if you want to be, you know, technical. But, of course, I'm going to link his channel in the description box below. I don't even have to tell you who it is once you see the merch. So, let's just go ahead and get into the merch. Uh, this might be, you know, kind of, you know, emotional for me because, you know, my boy has been waiting and has been working and grinding his butt off to get to where he is now. You know, went to SneakerCon Chicago together, you know, contact each and every day, push each other each and every day, and just keep grinding. Cause you know, you guys may not know, man, this sneaker YouTube is a grind. You know, having to come up with different ideas to keep content fresh for you guys. And, cause sneakers aren't always coming out, but, it's I gotta say this is this is dope to see so go ahead and show you guys the sniper Jones merch I got the sniper hoodie didn't really want the hat you know I wear a lot of you know my you know fitted hats here lately but the sniper Jones let me throw the that back but this is the sniper Jones merch I'm gonna put of course like I said his the script his link in the description box below and also I'm gonna put the link for the merch in the description box below uh, this you know this right here symbolizes you know to me the hard work that he's put in so of course bro shout out to you can't wait uh, we get we got some exciting news coming soon me and him are gonna be linking up for New Year's hopefully I'm gonna be going down to the A, chilling with him and A. So, yep, that's it. Sniper Jones hoodie. Of course, you know I gotta rock that in his city. But let's go ahead and get into what we all came here for for the title: Top 10 Jordans of 2018. So I'm gonna start it off with number 10. This year was the year of ones to me. That it was dropped over what 20 30 pairs of ones ridiculous so to start the list off at number 10 the shadow ones to me this is number 10 because it is an og yes but it, it's not to me it just matches everything that's why this made the list it's number 10 because it just didn't it was one that i had to have but it wasn't you know I would much rather have gotten the other shoes on this list before this one because this one is definitely cheap and I could have just went back and got it later. But that's number nine, I mean number ten, my bad. Number nine is the Homage to Home ones. This was number nine and really honestly I don't... I don't know if I ever see myself really wearing this shoe, just kind of, you know, because I like the story behind it, and, uh, you know, I like the quality of the shoe, just, I don't know, I just don't really see myself really wearing it. Uh, I might one day for a sneaker event or something like that, but I really, this made the list pretty much just because, you know, the story behind it, how, you know, they made the number pairs and they ended up releasing them to the public and everything, and everybody went pretty crazy over them, I feel like, so yeah, this really only made the list because you know the story behind them you know why they made it how it was made for chicago stuff like that that's what i feel like makes this sneaker you know real special and i mean the quality on the sneaker is dope too so you can't really beat that um number eight as you all know the fours are my favorite silhouette and you know when there's a retro four that comes out i have to get it 
No ifs, ands, or buts. I don't care. I have to get it. Um, so number eight was the Raptor 4. To me, the Raptor 4 is probably one of the more slept on sneakers of 2018. If not the most slept on sneaker. Like these things are crazy and actually I've seen people getting them for under retail, which is nuts. Which I mean, you know, under retail, I mean like people aftermarket, like not us people that work in sneaker stores that get them, that can get them with a discount. So this thing right here, the Raptor 4, is one of the most slept on sneakers of 2018. But of course, it made my list just because it's a retro 4. The quality was dope. You know, it, I just really love what they did with this sneaker. I love the story behind it, how they canceled it, then ended up bringing it back out and, you know, actually releasing it. So that was really dope to me. Um, so that's number eight. Uh, number seven to me is the Katrina 3. The Katrina 3 to me is one of the more sentimental sneakers to me i had family i had not family but i had friends that had family that you know suffered from hurricane katrina and you know it's really dope what they did with these they actually had a drop before the release at sneaker politics which is a sneaker boutique or sneaker shop it's, it's a tier zero store so it's a drop it's a shop in new orleans and he was able it came with like uh, some neon laces it came with its own special hang tag and also they had a customizer there that day that would put the green x on the back so that was really dope um you know it, it just means a lot to me because of the story of the katrina 3 this is a derrick anderson pe uh it's you know but i just really love how they you know started off by auctioning the, uh, this sneaker off and making taking the funds and putting it towards hurricane katrina so that's number seven number six to me me is a shoe that I had waited on for a long time and here it is the he got game 13s this was actually really dope to me because I actually did a giveaway once I hit 1k with Rishi Rich Mr. Orchard Beach and Jumperman Chris so this definitely means a lot to me because I was able to give a subscriber a pair of shoes and you know that's always that you know you guys are why I'm here so that means a lot to me to be able to do that and also, I've waited since 2013 for this pair. Couldn't get them before, so you knew I had to get them this time. And also, I got them early, so that was really dope. Number five, to me, this was the second best Jordan 1 of the year. Like, I don't go off hype. I just go off what I like. Like I said, this is my opinion totally on all of this. So, I know people are going to hate on this. And now that we're in my top five... I know for a fact people are getting ready to flame me in the comment section but it, again it's my opinion you know you all let me know your list in the comment section below actually please but here is number five the pine green ones the pine green ones to me definitely made the list because the quality on the shoe I love how it's different I didn't really know if I would really like a green sneaker, but then once I seen it on feet, and once I started wearing it, I was like, man, this thing is flames. Especially, it, it, go, it can go with a lot, really. You don't know it till you start really rocking them. But this, to me, is my number five Jordan of 2018. Number four is, to me, the best Jordan 1 of 2018. This thing was definitely fire. It came out the beginning, I think, what was it? The beginning of the year? I'm pretty sure it came out the beginning of the year. I don't know. It's been a while. Can't really remember that far back. The bread toe. The bread toe one. I haven't got to wear it yet. Uh, you know, I'm trying to stick to my not wearing a sneaker the year it comes out, but it's really hard as much as it has been coming out this year. But the bread toe one to me, the quality on the sneaker was absolutely dope. The a lot of stores near me got them, so you know, it, of course, so that does that means that it does not matter what the availability of the sneaker is or anything. To me, this was definitely a top 
five sneaker of the year for me or well top five jordan because you know some of these sneakers you will see again in my top 10 pickup of 2018 but some of these sneakers might be flipped because again it's my favorite pickup but to me i'm trying to make it as you know close to what i think should be a top 10 like a jordan's of 2018 top 10 pickups will be probably a little bit different but that's number four number three this is where y'all are probably gonna start you know <laughs> what like you know questioning why this and that you know i'll tell a little bit of the stories why i think this is but number three is a sneaker that just came out that everybody's been waiting on for a long time that i've been waiting on for a long time i wasn't able to get before so you all probably know what it is the concord 11. the concord 11 is number three on my list and i know for a fact i'm gonna take some flack for this but like again this is my opinion you know you guys have your own but to me it's the number three jordan of 2018 does not lessen anything about the sneaker it's a dope sneaker but it's just you know number three on my list number two and this is uh this is number two because of the story um and everything behind it the the sentimental meaning that it has to me so this is my number two the mocha three the mocha three to me uh, they last came out in 2001 um, has a lot of sentimental value to me this is kind of why you know um, I, this is it just it just means a lot to me so that's why it was definitely number two the quality on the sneaker is dope hadn't come out in a very long time a lot of people have been waiting on it, especially once it got confirmed so definitely definitely this is number two to me um, I'll let you guys know in the top 10 pickups a little bit of the story behind this sneaker uh, because you know it's definitely it's top three pickup of the year too as well so i'm gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and get to the number one sneaker or number one jordan of the year and i think i'll have quite a few people actually agree with me on this one so i i, I think i saved myself with this one it is the travis scott four the travis scott four is the sneaker of the year to me i don't care what it is jordan non-jordan everything this is the sneaker of the year to me the quality you know i everybody was saying they had a lot of quality control issues i didn't really have that many and to me just this the collaboration with travis scott and jordan brand was absolutely dope what he put into the sneaker houston oilers uh colorway you know really he's from houston so he really <laughs> He put on for his city with this one. So definitely, definitely to me, the Travis Scott 4 is number one on my list uh, for 2018 Jordans. So like I said, this is my list. This is my opinion. Let me know in the comment section below what your all's top 10 Jordans of 2018 was. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, let me know in the comment section below. But if you are new to the channel, please subscribe ring that bell that we get the notifications every time i drop one of these bangers for you guys and also be sure to check out eight and nine clothing i'm gonna drop my discount code in the uh in the description box below be sure to check them out and peace out you guys merry christmas